G'day everyone, it's Curtis and welcome to an On The Back Wheel video. Today I'm doing a mod on my new KLR 650 and that is installing an accessory socket. So I'm not using the OEM socket because they're about $94 whereas this one was about $13 from my local automotive store and it should still go in the stock port with no issues whatsoever. So it's going to go right here. Uh, I've already removed the blanking plate. I'll show you how to, you do that right now. It's very simple. It sits there and behind it is just a Phillips head screw. So you just reach around behind here with a short screwdriver and unscrew it and it pulls straight out. It's very, very easy. So I have started already and just removed the screen, but basically the wires to plug it in, to plug in the socket are in behind here just behind here like right there so what i'm going to do is actually remove this whole right fairing i'll show you how to do that it's pretty simple to be honest uh and then we'll get stuck in okay i'll show you what you need first up is you need your power socket uh make sure it is marine grade so when it gets water in it it doesn't bugger out on you next up you need a relay now you can get this from kawasaki uh you can also get your socket from kawasaki but stuff paying them a mozza for it I got this for $8 uh, and it's the exact same thing. I'll put a picture up for you so you know what to get. And this was $16 I believe and the inside actually comes out. I'll show you that when we do it. You need a couple of Allen keys under the fairing. I have some electrical terminals so I can hook it up to the uh, existing terminals that they have there on the bike already. And you need a Phillips head screwdriver. All right, I'm going the super easy route this time. I've got the drill out with an Allen key bit in the drill. So first thing I'm gonna do is remove this side protection slash cover. Now all these bolts on the fairing are gonna have little plastic washers. Don't lose them, all right? They fall out really easy. So I'll show you how this works. This has only got the one bolt and then it's got uh, two rubber grommets that you just pull out and they sit in the fairing. Might have already been pulled out, so a lot easier, and so yours may need to wiggle a bit. And that's how they look. Now, your grommets may stay in like mine have. If they do, before you put it on, take them off and put it back in there. Otherwise, you will be spending a lot of time doing it. Now we're just gonna remove all these. And just stay on top. Now we're going to remove these two uh, Allen screws. It's just an exercise up Allen key. That's a longer bolt, so make sure you keep that to the side. And that's a shorter bolt. All right, next we have to remove uh, the Phillips head screws that are on the inside that joins the two fairing together. Uh, I've already undone mine, but all you do is get this, get a short screwdriver and just undo the three that are there. These are the three bolts that come out. So this all just comes off in one piece. Uh, at the front, there's two rubber grommets as well that the fairing pushes into. So you're just gonna kind of wiggle that out and just be careful so you don't damage your fairing. This comes off here. And here they are up front. Here we go, there's one there, and one there. That's your naked KLR, everyone. So these are where those grommet, grommets are, so just make sure they don't come out, and if they do, just push them back in. Another one down there. I've taken off the windscreen, and also the two bolts here, uh, just so it gives me a bit more access in here, because if you pull that back, they're the cables we're gonna hook up this socket to. Uh, there are some bullet terminals that were already installed on the bike. And here, this gray thing here is where we're gonna hook up the relay. It's really simple to take off. You just push forward a button there. You can see that there's the button you push to pull it off. All right, while we're here, I'll just plug this in. Really easy to do. Done. Okay, I'll show you the cigarette power socket that I bought, your 12 volt socket. Uh, so you get no idea what you need. Marine grade. Open it up, I'm using one hand, so. It's gonna be awkward. So you don't need any of this outer stuff, but it comes like this nowadays. So all we need is this cigarette lighter here. It's very simple. And 
this bit here which locks it on and tightens it to the back of the fairing. This also comes with right angle terminals which is fantastic so we'll pop one on there just to show you how it looks pop the other one there positive and negatives uh, and they're really tight so I was worried I might have to solder it but they are rock solid like I'm pulling that really tight and that's not going anywhere I forgot to mention you also need wiring I've got some leftover old wiring uh, in the shed here so I'm going to use that and some um, bullet terminals so I'll attach that to it as well we'll do that now okay this is the cabling I got so I'm just going to cut it so um fits in these bullet terminals and also these terminals here should be perfect we need one of each we need one of them and one of them we need roughly that much wire so what's that like 20 centimeters of wire 10 inches if you want to be um on the safe side now if you want to make things easier you would uh have one red and one black but i'm just going to put some black tape on one and that'll be my negative all right, wiring's all done. I crimped on all these. You could solder if you wanted as well, but these are worked just as well crimping. And uh, now I'm gonna put the socket in. Now, this one's really tight. That's what she said, but we'll get it in there. Put the riding up, because I'm pedantic like that. I tell you what, that's Bloody brilliant. Bloody brilliant. And my cable's a little bit long, so you probably need to even halve that because it's only going to go to right here. But that's all right, we can cable tie that. And then cable tie it for frame something here as well. There's heaps of little tie down points, as you can see, like there. Okay, we're all connected up. Let's push these on. They're rock solid now. The only bit that's moving is the plastic uh, on the outside. I might just put a little bit of tape over them just in case. Uh, this is a bit long, I probably could have shortened it, but that's all good, I just put a bit of uh, electrical tape there, and I will zip tie it, they have points all over the place, it's really good, there's a plastic bit, I'll zip tie it straight to there, so it doesn't jump around when you're riding, uh, and here, I'll just push these together, and these are rock solid too, I'm really happy with how it's turned out, well enough of that, let's see if it bloody works, that's the most important part, so I found this old USB, charger that uh, was lying around joint hopefully it still works here we go oh we're on it's on with the uh, key as well hopefully it turns off with the key yes how good how good awesome all right that's how you do it i'll tidy it up a bit zip tied there then i'll show you when it's done then i'll uh, put it all back together all right here it is all tidied up and put together just put some electrical tape on here and zip tied that to there so it's rock solid there's plenty of places you can zip tie things to here it's fantastic and looks schmick oh all right i brought the bike out into the sunlight so you can see everything a bit more clearly not in my garage there it's all back together very easy to do it's so easy to put back together this bike like if you think about doing this mod do it and here's how it looks looks fantastic like that looks completely factory Looks fantastic. Uh, at the front here, you'd never know anything was behind it. You can't see the wires. I tied them back, uh, zip tied them to a post there, and it's all done. I'm absolutely stoked. It looks fantastic. Why spend 130 Australian dollars when you can spend, what was it, 25? And it's all done. Okay, we'll put in this USB I got out of the car. Oh, snaps in nicely, doesn't it? I'll turn it on. Beautiful. There it is. Green light is on. Comes on with the accessories, which is what you want. So your battery doesn't go flat. Uh, if you turn the bike off, it keeps charging. Man, that is awesome. So there you have it. That's how you install a 12 volt socket on the new KLR 650. It's fantastic that all the wires are there and already provided. And also the slot uh, makes it very easy to do. If you're not mechanically minded, don't worry. It's so simple to do. Like, all you need is an Allen key and a couple of simple tools and about $30 of, of parts. And that's Australian dollars. So you're in the US, be about $25. But instead of spending $130, and then you're going to pay for labor on top of that if you wanted to do it through the shop, this just proves I reckon you could do it in half an hour. Easy.
very easy. All right, if you have any questions, just put them down in the comments. As usual, hit the like button and subscribe. And uh, keep it on the back wheel, people. Catch us.